I'm gonna show you how I built a simple strategy that profited over 7,406% in back testing. I'm gonna show you some live results as well. And then I'm gonna show you how I completely automated it. This Ichimoku strategy that you probably remember from my previous videos is tuned for the three hour chart on Bitcoin, but I'm gonna show you how it performs on the 15 minute chart. We're gonna turn it into a 15 minute scalper sniper strategy. And if you like learning about trading bots and getting information that you can't get anywhere else for free, this is the right channel for you because this is all we do here. I try to upload at least once or twice per week and I share all of my strategies in my Discord server. The link is down in the description below. At the end of the video, this strategy is also gonna be in my Discord server. It's free, you can join it, access it, grab the script and try it out for yourself. So hit subscribe and turn all notifications on if you wanna be first to watch my content. Sometimes I do giveaways for my first viewers. So if you wanna be in on those giveaways, be sure to click subscribe with notifications turned on. Sometimes I give away Patreon benefits or premium indicators for free. So this is the Ichimoku cloud strategy. Right now we're still above the cloud. So we're still in the long on this chart. The open profit and loss currently is 39%. So this strategy is still in the trade. The way that this strategy works is that there's three layers to the Ichimoku cloud. If you're above all three, it'll enter along. I added one more filter, a 200 EMA. So it's only gonna be looking to long if we're above this. So if we cross below these three lines, we're gonna take profit on our long. And if in the future we dump below this 200 moving average, it's going to only select for shorts. Now it's possible to make a strategy that would snipe every single one of these entries, every single back and forth. In my experience, if you try to get greedy like that and squeeze every single penny out of the market, you either end up curve fitting your strategy, which means it only is fitted for historical bars and it doesn't respond well to new data because it's not flexible, or you end up over trading and running your bot into the ground. So this is a very simple strategy and that's the logic of how it works. And there's a trader in my Discord shout out to Hidden who hooked the strategy up to the 50 minute chart and was fortunate enough to share his four testing results with me. So just in this morning, he was able to snipe several long and short entries. You can see PNL here, 2.34, 1.4, 0.64, and all of these small little entries add up. So this strategy works on TradingView if you're not registered yet. I'll drop a link down in the description. It's the charting platform that I use to also build my strategies. Once you register, sign in, and then click on Chart Plus, it'll take you right to to the chart so you can enter all of your strategies. You can draw trend lines, support and resistance, code any strategy that you can conceive of, and then hook it up to a real live bot that'll trade for you. So you can set alerts for if any stock is crossing over or under a certain line. You can also set alerts for any strategy and it'll ping you within the app. Now you can also send the alerts outside of the app to an automation service that automatically links to your exchange. The one that I'm using is called Wick Hunter and it's completely free. It's really simple. You just connect your exchange, create your bot, and then you can start trading on autopilot. So for all my four testing results in the future, I'm gonna be using Wick Hunter. So because Wick Hunter is secure, they encrypt your APIs. It's simple and easy to use. And it's also completely free if you sign up for Bybit using the link in the description down below. Once you register for Bybit using the link down in the description and connect your exchange to Wick Hunter, it'll automatically detect that you're from my community and it'll give you this basic plan that's normally $19.99 a month for completely free. And you could hook up multiple bots and hook them up for free. And for those who don't know, this is Bybit. It's a really great exchange. If you click the link down in the description, you should see the referral code in the search bar when you're registering. Make sure it's there when you register so Wick Hunter can automatically detect that you're from my community. Now, once you deposit assets into Bybit, you wanna move them from your spot into your derivatives account. This is where you can use leverage, although I don't recommend it. When you're in Wick Hunter, you could just select 1x leverage and you won't have to worry about getting liquidated. And if you hover over your little profile picture, you can find your API right here and that's what you're gonna plug in to Wick Hunter. If you want to find the full tutorial video, it's the last video I posted. It's the Trading Bot Ultimate Guide. And I also did a full text tutorial in my Discord server so you can follow along in text if you like that. You can pick either or, and today I'm gonna to show you exactly how to customize this for any strategy as well. So you could pick any strategy on TradingView that you want and hook up the strategy in less than five minutes and have those signals fully automated for you. And it'll trade completely automated for you. So it'll set your orders, stop loss, and take profit all automatically. And also just a quick shout out to Wolfpack Pro. This is my website, tradetactics.io. If you wanna grab 
grab a subscription to a manual trading indicator, this is the website for you. You can grab a free trial for this premium indicator if you click on the free trial tab. And in my opinion, it's one of the best indicators out there on the market today. So you can try it out for yourself completely free, no strings attached. Head over to tradetactics.io. If you end up trying Wolfpack Pro and loving it, you can earn 50% commission on every sale that you make. No strings attached. I'll transfer that myself into your PayPal account. There's an affiliate portal, really easy to register and log in. You can track all of your sales. The website is tradetactics.io. You can find the link in the description below. And I wanted to give a quick shout out to the artist who did this amazing artwork for my website. His name is Osaka Don. You can find him in my Discord server. Shout out to Osaka. And without further ado, back to the Ichimoku cloud strategy. So we're on the three hour chart. If we shift down to the two hour chart, you're gonna see some different results. The four hour chart also, we're still profitable on long and short. There's different volatility and different markers on different time frames. So they gradually shift down as you go down different time frames. On the one hour chart, this is still profitable. But if we go to the 15 minute chart where our target is with these settings, there definitely needs to be some modification to this strategy. So we can open up the settings cogwheel right here. And we have our four different modifiers for the strategy. You can also change the back testing range. If you want to look back further, this is currently set to 2016. And the start time is 2016 on this for the look back period. So it's looking back all the way to 2016 as long as you have enough back testing data. If you're on a free trading view plan, it allows you 5,000 candles to look back. And what that means is every candle on the chart represents one unit of time. We're on the 15 minute chart. So each candle on this chart is 15 minutes of time. So on a free plan, 15 minutes times 5,000 candles, that's how much data that you have to work with. If you're on a pro plan on TradingView, you get 10,000 candles of look back. And if you're on a premium trading view plan, you get 20,000 candles of look back. On a premium plan, you also get access to this deep backtesting feature where you can go back as far as you want and generates you a full report that you can review yourself. So if you're serious about getting into trading bots, you definitely want to have access to these features as well. If you're just dabbling this to figure out whether it's worth your while, then you might want to stay on the free plan. So once you have your settings open, we can start modifying these four settings here, the conversion line, the baseline, the leading and lagging span as well. I already went into these trade filters. So these are units of time. If you want to test a particular market dump, you can just select out for that one here. You would just put in the period before and after that dump. Maybe it's a month long dump and you just want to look at that one month to see how your strategy held up to that challenge. You can also show take profit and stop loss here. It's going to show up on your chart and you can modify these right here. Once you activate these in your code, you're going to get completely different results here. So this would be a stop loss of 1% and a take profit of 2%. That is a two to one risk ratio. And as you can see already without any tuning, this is already somewhat profitable. So you definitely want to modify these variables. You want to give your trades enough breathing room. So you definitely want to play around with these variables. As you can see here, I'm increasing the stop loss, giving my trade more breathing room, and it seems to be already performing twice as good. And you won't be setting your take profit at an arbitrary line. You're going to actually have some data to justify where you put your stop loss and your take profit order. So you can toggle these on the strategy as well. I'm going to turn it off for now just for simplicity while we're tuning this. And since we're coming down on the time frame, I'm going to guess that we're going to have to come down on our variables as well so that they're less broad. And the strategy that I'm using to fine tune this is just going one by one to test and fine tune these variables one by one to check how the strategy responds to these variables. If I find that a strategy is too finicky and on one setting it's very profitable and on the next setting it's extremely unprofitable, the chances that that strategy are overtuned is actually fairly likely. This is just a simple strategy that's just using a few modifiers and it looks like the results are fairly gradual. If I change one variable, it drops a little bit, a little bit more, a little bit more. So the chances that it's overfitted are fairly unlikely. Before I forget to the number one thing that you don't want to do on your back testing is using Heiken Ashi candles. That's going to change your back testing results and it actually ends up miscalculating as well. You can see the profit here is 18.5%. If I change to Heiken Ashi candles, look what happens. Boom, 1000% profit. Now that looks fairly appealing. You can see that all of the results are very, very profitable. That is a big no-no in the bot trading community. If you're using Heiken Ashi candles, it just messes with the calculations. And the reason why is bar replay mode just does not work for non-traditional chart types like Heiken Ashi, line break, range, PNF, etc. So be sure that you're not using Heiken Ashi when you post results. It's actually banned from my Discord server. If anyone posts misleading results on their strategies, that's going to get deleted. So make sure that you're using just the normal candlesticks 
can see I can go back in time, play this forward, and it'll happen exactly like it did when we looked at the results initially. That means that it's not repainting and the chance that this will perform in real time actually increases if you're not repainting. Of course, there's a few more things to watch out for. I'll cover those in various other videos. And the strategy works on multiple coins. One of the most profitable configurations that I could find for myself was the FXC USDT coin. These are the strategy results. The max drawdown is also only 23% on this configuration, which is fairly reasonable. Here's the overview of the strategy over 20,000 candles. Average bars in trade is 19. It's profitable 40% of the time. There's 900 total closed trades here. It's profitable 40% of the time. And when it wins, it wins larger than it loses. I'm gonna put a screenshot of this exact configuration in the Discord server. If you're in the Trade Tactics Discord, it's free to join. I don't know why you wouldn't. Head over to Working Scripts and then click on this Ichimoku Cloud strategy. That's where you can find the code for this. And we're gonna paste the exact configuration right here and pin the message so that you can look it up later. You can click on the pinned messages in the top right corner and you can see that I updated this configuration to be compatible with Wick Hunter, and I also gave the exact settings right here so you can add those in as well. And of course, you cannot forget to factor in commission. This is 0.05% commission. And once factoring commission, I would have 1,243% profit. And if I were to do a deep back test on this configuration, this is going all the way back to 2021 when this chart started. This is the first available date. This strategy, factoring in commission, has 8,331% profit. The drawdown, the drawdown has slightly, the drawdown has slightly increased, but it hasn't passed that 40% threshold. And I have the deep backtest result displayed here. You can see this really, really beautiful gradual curve here. This is exactly what I like to see. Really strong curve all the way up, still maintaining close to that 40% profitability. There's currently open profit and loss. It's at half a percent profit. The total closed trades on this backtest are 2,285. And most importantly, the average winning trade is more than double the average losing trade. So there's a two to one risk ratio. So I'm gonna turn off deep backtesting so you can see the net profit here on 20,000 candles. Again, you might not have these exact results if you only have a free trading view plan, but here are the exact configurations. As you can see, they're all on the chart. You can see exactly when it long and short. And if you're still watching the video, I can show you how I hooked up this strategy to my Wick Hunter account for free. But first, you're gonna have to drop a like down below. All right, so the first thing you're gonna have to do is select the alert box up here in the top bar, head over to notifications, and this is the webhook URL for Wick Hunter. Now, if you can't select this box, it means that you don't have a paid plan for TradingView. Unfortunately, there's no way around this. You're gonna have to register for pro. You can get a 30-day trial for free. This is when you want to have set up. You can also play sound or send an email to your SMS. You can show a pop-up or send an email as soon as it enters a trade. And you're going to want to select this first drop-down menu and select the Ichimoku Cloud. We're going to send our alerts from the strategy right here. Okay, I'm going to close out of this right now and head over to Wick Hunter. All right, so I'm on Wick Hunter and I'm on my exchange page. I have Bybit linked up here. And if you're not registered for Bybit yet, simply scroll down below. I'm going to pin the comment to the top of the comment section with all of the links. And once you're registered for Bybit using that link and you've hooked up your exchange to Wick Hunter, Wick Hunter is automatically going to give you a premium plan for free forever. So once your exchange is hooked up to Wick Hunter and you've deposited some USDT in your derivatives account of Bybit, you can create a bot simply by clicking the create bot function. The entry size type, there's two here. One is percent and one is dollars. So if you want a fixed amount, if you just want to put in $20, $20, $20 and never compound that, you just want to click the dollar. If you want to compound your interest and devote a specific amount of your account into this specific bot, then you're going to want to click percentage. The entry size, I'm just going to click 20% of my total account. And the order account can be any of these three options here, market, limit, or post only. Now, typically in my experience, the lower time frame that you go, you're gonna have a harder time filling your limit orders. So you might have to click market order, but for now, I'm just gonna use a limit order just for this example. And if you don't understand the leverage type, you can just hover your mouse over this icon here. And I'm just gonna click isolated. And the leverage, I'm just gonna pick one X. Now I don't need any dollar cost averaging orders. Although if you wanted to play around with it, you would head back to training view and click on settings here in the left-hand corner. And you'd wanna play around with this pyramiding function. So what pyramiding does is if a second long order condition is met and you're already in a long, it'll enter again. So I can select pyramiding two here and you can see that the net profit went dramatically up. As you can see, the max drawdown also went up. So you're increasing your potential gain and also increasing your potential loss. Now, one quick thing to note to make sure that these calculations are as accurate as they can be is it's not possible for me to pyramid in 200% of my account because I only have 100% of my account. So if I have pyramiding two, the order size has to be 
50% of my account here. So I'm re decreasing the order size by half here, and this is giving me more reliable results. So when I actually send these signals through Wake Hunter, through percent of equity in my account, I'll actually have the funds in my account. So I can't have 500% of my account. If I had it pyramiding 10, I can't all in 10 times. So I can change this to three, four, five, and then I would simply reduce this down. So if I have pyramiding five, that's gonna be 20% of my account for each order. 20 times five is 100. And here is the net profit. You can see that the max drawdown changed and the net profit changed. And if you wanna add DCA orders, dollar cost averaging orders through Wick Hunter, you would just play around with that. I'm just gonna leave that off for now because my net profit is actually more here. I like these results better without pyramiding anyway. So the take profit order here is already built into the strategy. So you don't technically need it, but if you wanna stay extra safe, you can set it as well. So the take profit was 2.75%. So if we reach our take profit level, we can take profit on 100% of that order, or we can set this lower. You can take a partial percent of take profit and you would just set this at 2.75%. So that's gonna be a take profit limit order set 2.75% away from my entry. Now, if you want multiple take profits, trailing stop loss, or if you wanna set a flat take profit price yourself, you can do that here. The stop loss works exactly the same. We have back tested and dialed in the exact settings that we want. This is a stop loss percent of 1.25%. So we're gonna set a stop loss 100% of that position size. The stop loss percent is 1.25%. The order type is a market order. So that's gonna guarantee that we get out of our position no matter what. And if you're using ladder mode, it allows you to move your stop loss if one or more of your take profits have already been hit. So I'm almost done with this configuration here. I'm just gonna fill out the first line. I'm gonna select USDT because I'm gonna hold my funds in USDT. If I select this other one here, just the Bybit, not the Bybit USDT, this would mean that if I'm trading the coin pair BTC USDT, I would hold my profits in Bitcoin, but I would also trade in Bitcoin. So because I want my profits to stay in stablecoin, I'm going to hold it in USDT. The side that I'm trading is both long and short, and the symbol that I'm trading is FXS. Now I can categorize this into any risk profile that I want. If I've traded this a lot and I'm really confident in the strategy, then I would select very low. Since I have not traded this, I can select medium, high, or very high. Just for example, I'm gonna put medium. Now that I've filled out all of this, the save button lights up as pink and I'm gonna hit save. Now this, at this point, this green prompt at the bottom of your screen will fill up. It'll tell you to head over to the view bots category and enable the bot so that it actually trades live. So I've headed over to the view bots category and this is the FXS USDT bot that I just created and I'm gonna enable it right here. Now the last thing I need to do is head over to the signal wizard and this is where all the magic happens. This is where we generate our payloads and these go into trading view to tell our bot exactly what to do. So in order to show the payload, it's grayed out right now. I can't select show payload. So I have to fill out everything in this first first line. So I'm going to select the Bybit USDT account because that's what we're trading in USDT. And there are two kinds of orders that we're interested in open or market close. So I'm going to select open. And now we have all of this other profile show up. The symbol again was FXS. And if you're not hedging your orders and you want to close your previous position. So if you're in a short, you would flip to long and it, you want to ensure that that previous position is closed. And we can either trade in the buy or sell. So that's long or short. So there's going to be four payloads. One is for long or short to open a trade and one is for long or short to close our trade. Trade. So once I select buy, the show button appears and I can actually generate this payload. So I'm going to hit copy on this. Make a note that this URL is our webhook URL. So we're going to set that into our alert. So I've copied that. I've headed over to our Ichimoku cloud strategy on trading view. This is the time frame that I want to execute the alerts from. When you set the alert, it's going to set an imprint into trading view and it will always remember what was on the chart, what were the settings at that specific time. So this is the configuration that I want to go with when I set it up live. So I'm going to hit settings and these are the four alert boxes that you paste your payloads into. So I've got the long entry message. So I'm going to hit paste on that and I'm going to grab the three remaining ones here. So I've got the code to tell the strategy to open a long through Wick Hunter, and now I'm gonna do that for a short. So there's the second messages, and now I've gotta get the exit messages for the exit long and exit short. To do that, this is gonna be a market close that's gonna get us out of our position, and now I can click two sides buy or sell here and show that payload right here, and the payload will update once you click show. I've got all four in, I'm happy with these results, so I can hit okay, and this will save. 
So I'm ready to go and set up these alerts so this strategy will automate for me through Bybit. So hit alert up in the top corner and we wanna select our Ichimoku Cloud strategy and make sure that you have the correct webhook URL. Make sure that this entire URL is correct. Once you've got that, you can head over to the settings. And the next thing we wanna do is give this alert a name and delete all of this text from this text box in the message box down below. And then you're gonna to wanna to paste in this exact message here. This is the exact message you need every single character character for character, otherwise it won't work. If you need this exact message, head over to my Discord server and it's right here in the Set Up Your Trading Bot tutorial. And yes, you need the exact squiggly brackets, the period, the underscore, you need all of this here. Strategy, order, alert, message, all just like that. If you don't have it just like that, it won't send to Wick Hunter correctly. Also as another note, if you haven't linked your exchange to Bybit using the link that I linked down in the description, you're gonna get this error message, so you're gonna have to buy a subscription. But if it's linked, you should be fully active and good to go on Wick Hunter immediately. It's gonna automatically detect for you. So so this alert is good to go. I can click create and now it's created. It's fully active. It's never going to expire since I have a premium account on TradingView. If you don't have a premium account, you're going to have to update that message as soon as it expires. And on your Wick Hunter account, if you want to see if these logs are coming in, you can head over to the logs panel here. So if you want to check if these alerts are firing live, there's a troubleshooting guide in the Discord server. Simply head over to start here and there's a Wick Hunter startup guide here. There is a basic troubleshooting guide that the creator of Wick Hunter put together, but the simple way to go about this is to check your alerts log. So once an alert has fired live, there hasn't been one yet, it's gonna show up. The alerts log is gonna display that alert after it fires. And if it's in your alerts log in your trading view, then you can track it to see if Wick Hunter detected it. So head over to Wick Hunter and check your alerts log to see if you could find it there. After that, if it's in your alert logs, but it hasn't opened a Bybit order, you can check it right here. You can check your order history under your derivatives account in Bybit. Once that executes, you're gonna see your stop loss, take profit, all of that's gonna appear on your chart here. It's gonna be live, it's gonna operate whether you're at your computer or if you're out driving. It should be fully automated. So if you enjoyed this video, guys, be sure to comment down below if you want me to do any other strategies. I can fact check other strategies for you. If you see one that you like, you want me to test it out, comment it down below. I'm gonna try my best to reply to as many comments and as many questions as you guys have. I'm on YouTube, TikTok. You can join the Discord server for completely free. I'm gonna be updating you on how this strategy goes. For now, guys, thanks for watching. See ya.